Brexit fears look bad for sterling, but they could be pretty ugly for the euro. How has the euro been doing since David Cameron announced June the 23rd as the date for the UK referendum on EU membership? Well, the euro has fallen about 1%, and that's something the European Central Bank normally quite likes, since it helps exporters and gives a boost to the eurozone's underperforming economy. But is it the right kind of euro depreciation? ECB President Mario Draghi would rather that euro depreciation was happening because the US economy was driving dollar strength and fueling central bank policy divergence in which the US raises rates while the ECB eases monetary conditions. Now, as this chart shows, here we have the correlation between Bund uh, treasury spreads and euro dollar. And as you can see, the correlation is pretty strong. As the US economy strengthens and Treasury yields rise, so the euro falls. But it's when this correlation falls apart that the ECB should worry. The euro is falling because investors are losing faith in the eurozone economy, in the potency of the central bank and in the ability of the EU to keep this superstructure intact. Brexit is a big, big risk to the EU structure. Right in the middle of global economic malaise, low inflation, market jitters and central bank uncertainty and a major migrant crisis, we have a full-scale debate lasting a full four months on whether the people of the UK, the third biggest EU member by population, think the whole European project is worth sticking with. So, this spring is more crucial for the euro than for sterling, which in any case can bounce back bounce back after June the 23rd if the vote is to remain. Right now, the euro is falling for the wrong reasons. Business growth and expectations are waning. Mr Draghi's negative interest rates policy is being picked apart and Brexit is a scenario too scary for Brussels to contemplate. If this correlation weakens and the euro falls for all these other reasons, then we will see confidence in the euro and the whole European project seriously hit. Now, you may think we've been here before. After all, only a year ago, Grexit was the big black swan risk to the euro. And that came and went. But today feels very different than 12 months back, when monetary divergence was all the rage, Mr Draghi was in the ascendance, and China and oil had yet to really stoke market fears. Of course, the UK is going to be a rather semi-detached member of the EU and at some stage was always going to have this big in-out vote. But it is taking place at a really problematic time for the Euro.